What's going on everybody? Jada Black here. I am back with another video. This is going to be sort of like extended commentary on a topic of black females when they particularly hit the wall. They then want to date white when they've been choosing the wrong men over and over and over and over. They think that his ethnicity, if it changes, then that's just going to make the situation better. But it doesn't. It just makes them even more bitter. Okay. Now I produced a video called this tweet from Carrie Hilson proves why her relationship failed. And as of it being uploaded, it has 73 likes and six thumbs down. So this is going to be a video that's going to be heavily thumbs down because a lot of these sisters don't like to hear the truth. Okay. Just because you change the ethnicity of the guy does not mean that your relationship situation is going to change okay because if you were giving the black men the attitude trust me you're sooner or later that white man is going to see that attitude as well and for the life of me i will never understand why black women always want to date white men it's never asian men hispanic men biracial men it's, they have to be white they're just some kind of i don't know if it's validation they feel like white is better, but it just, it's, it's kind of weird to me, you know? And when you look at these comments, you know, um, it sort of shows two sides of the spectrum. People who understand where I'm coming from and the people who chooses to ignore where I'm coming from. And the people who typically ignore where I'm coming from are usually people who they themselves chase around other ethnicities because of the way they look. And I, and I want y'all to understand, I don't make these videos just because I like making the video. It's because I'm trying to point out hypocrisies, the fact that you have a lot of these black men who cannot be honest about their preferences, okay? because they're going to be attacked. These black women can be honest, but if you say anything about them, they'll say you're bashing them or you're hating, you know? And I just don't understand that hypocrisy. Like I really don't. And it just, it just doesn't make a lot of sense that they will say that dating us as black men is settling. They'll say it's settling, but it doesn't matter what the economic status of non-black men are. You're still going to get with them because they're white. They can give you biracial children, which is what a lot of these women want. Look at Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks was with the dude for five years, a white dude for five years. They had a child together, and she and now, now she's single again, looking to date a rapper. That shows you exactly where these women are. It shows exactly why they continuously are not getting married because they're continuously choosing the wrong men. Look at the men Carrie Hilson was with. Pro athletes. Men who are, are career men. Like they, they're too focused on their career to get married. But what they have to understand is changing the ethnicity of the man is not going to work because the men ultimately decide whether he wants to marry you or not. See, with black men is different. If black men are dating non-black women and they're marrying those women, it's because he chose to marry her. See, women need men's approval for marriage. They get into a relationship with them. The woman ultimately chooses the man that she wants to be in a relationship with. But for the most part, when it comes to marriage, that's him. That's his, um, that, that's basically his decision making. And I think a lot of these women just don't understand that. So they think that by hopping the fence, that's going to fix things. No, it's not. It's only going to make it more complicated. Because what's going to happen is going to make that woman more bitter to where she takes this sort of like anti, you know, anything non-black stance. When she's only taking that stance because she's been hurt. 
and you have a lot of women who are agreeing with Carrie Hilson because they want to date white men. They do have an obsession with them. I don't care what none of y'all say. None of y'all people want to thumbs down the videos. They want to get mad. You want to go and in the comment section and be angry. The tweet speaks for itself. And the fact is, is that when I looked at the responses to, to Carrie Hilson's tweet about her DMs only being for white men, a lot of you brothers didn't take it seriously. You, you thought it was funny. Because we as black men, we don't care about the preferences thing. Because a lot of us have moved on. We have adapted to the times. We understand that, 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 that black women are going to do what they do. And that we want to be happy, so we're going to be with whoever we want to be with. And we don't care who don't like it. We'll put up whatever we need to put up with. But these sisters aren't willing to do that. Because they want approval and validation from black men. They want us to accept the fact that they're with non-black men. And the funny thing is that we actually do. But because for the most part, we won't make them, we won't let them forget the fact that they're with men of other races. That, that bothers them. You see, whenever a black woman deals with us, it's always settling. They always feel like they're settling for us. But no matter what his economic position is in life, a non-black man, they won't see that settling. Look at Serena Williams. Serena Williams has a net worth of what, over 100 million. She married a guy whose net worth is about 5 million. But you have black women who will still justify that and say that she didn't settle. She settled. Serena Williams settled. She settled for a biracial child. She did. If she had married a man, a black man who had a $5 million net worth, these sultas would be complaining. They would be upset. They would say that she settled just because he's black. People got to understand that. For the most part, I don't care who these women date, but don't be calling us out and calling us names when we date non-black women. Try to hold up your black card and say, hey, you know, you know, you're not being pro-black enough when you will typically go out of your way to announce that you want nothing to do with black men. And you expect us to ignore that and to overlook that and only look at the fact of other things that we're saying. That's the problem with these women. That's the problem. They don't understand hypocrisy. They don't realize that when you are announcing shit like this, you're basically proving our point. You're proving why these brothers shouldn't marry you because you have you have some issues with your own self-esteem. Your self-esteem is in your hair and what ethnicity of the man that you're with. And that is sad. But that's the reality that we are in. Personally, I don't care who none of these women date. But the thing is that I have to point out what I see. And if I see a Tyra Banks be with a guy for five years, y'all didn't say she was settling. Y'all didn't ask yourself why is she with a photographer no one knows about for five years. Why did she be with somebody for five years, have a kid with them and didn't marry them? Y'all not asking those questions. Y'all want to know who we're dating. You want to police what who we're with. That's because you're unhappy. Because no matter if you're with a black man, white man, orange man, green man, blue man, your relationships tend to not work. And when you get to the point to where you're hitting that wall, you think that by hopping the fence and getting a different color of guy, that's going to change anything. It's not because you haven't changed who you are. And until you change who you are, nothing is going to be different than, than it already has been. I've been very consistent in this point because y'all continue to prove me right. You continue to prove other brothers right. You're unwilling to look yourself in the mirror. You're unwilling to change the things that are making you fail as a person. One is your stubbornness. Two, your completely bad attitude. Three, the fact that your self-esteem is wrapped up in the skin tones and your hair. You have to let that stuff go. Black men aren't waiting around for you anymore. And I think that bothers you too. 
This is why you got to go and look up old tweets of, of black men because you understand that these brothers are going to think for themselves. They're going to do what they want to do. And they're not waiting around for you. You want them to wake around, wake up, or uh, wait and wake up now. You want them to wait for you, but they're not. They're waking up. They understand that they do have options and they don't need to wait on women who think that being with you is settling. Who, what man wants to be with a woman who thinks being with him is settling? A lot of men understand that you cannot make these women happy until they make themselves happy. And it just, to me, I never can understand why you, these, these sisters go out of their way to try to show their disrespect for us. To always talk about how they want other races of men, but then they want to call us names when they see us dating women of other races or women with lighter skin complexion than them. They can be hypocrites. They can date all non-black men they want. But we have to be held to an unreasonable standard that they themselves would never try to live up to. And they wonder why their relationships continue not to, you know, manifest because of the hypocrisy they live in. And the fact they're unwilling to look themselves in the mirror and figure out why they are where they're at. So let me know in the comment section below and uh, let me know your thoughts.